College tuition for a four-year school can be just a massive financial undertaking with years of savings or years of repayments. But an annual study shows a major trend. More students are choosing to take the school based solely on financial packages that they receive. Director of Personal Finance, Tim Maurer, from the BAM Alliance, is here now to discuss the future of colleges. Will this affect it? Because the study out of UCLA, they do it annually. They say, hey, 75% of the kids that get accepted to these schools, that doesn't mean 75% are going there. Yeah. I mean, they're choosing schools because they got a better, much better financial package from this school over here. So they'll drop their even change their major sure. based on where the finances come from. In other words, the cost is now having an impact right. on the decisions that people make. And I, I hope it does affect some change because yeah. the cost of education has been going up at double or triple the rate of inflation over the course of the last two decades. Mm -hmm. We've gotten to a point where I do think we might be reaching a tipping point where people simply cannot afford to keep paying those top prices. There's no question. Yeah, and it was interesting because in the survey, they, they asked some of the students, they said, you know, a lot of, uh, a few thousand students, they said that, you know what, I, I'd rather go to my the school that I want because I'll do better in life. Business was the major one mm -hmm. that they were going into. And they said, um, I would rather choose an expensive school because I get the name behind it than go to a cheaper school even though I'm getting the same degree. And it may or may not make sense, but I think okay. these days, undergraduate degrees have really reached a level of parity. The difference between the University of Maryland and Harvard is not quite as great as it once was. If you're going to put extra money into something, right. I recommend grad school because that has now become the new differentiator. The undergraduate degree mm -hmm. is almost a requirement. Right. It's a given, and most people are saying, okay, where did you get your master's? Where'd you exactly. Yeah. Okay. okay, so the first step for parents then for... for um, Saving for college. The first step is recognizing what it actually takes to save up enough for college. Okay. If you decide to send your, your kids to Towson University, University of Maryland, in-state university, you should probably be saving $350 a month from the day that child is born for their first 18 oh, years of their lifetime. You're making me sweat here, too. I understand, and I'm not trying to scare you too much, right. but coming into touch with reality is mm -hmm. helpful. So once I tell parents that, here's what it's actually going to cost. If you want to save up to send them to University of Florida because it's out of state, right. you're going to need to save 750 bucks a month. If you want them, if you bleed crimson and you right. want them to go to Harvard, we're yeah. talking 1200 bucks a month you need to be saving. So set your expectations mm -hmm. within the context of reality, but okay. come up with an answer to the question because your kids are going to ask you one day, what are you going to pay for? Don't say anything. A blank check is a recipe for disaster right. from a financial perspective. All right. Well, I'm off to go get a second job right now. I'm just thinking <laughs> about colleges. Tim, thank Good you luck. so much for coming My in. Pleasure. We appreciate that.